Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can free up space on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a community of supporters. Join us and get exclusive content at MacMost.com slash Patreon. So say your Mac is giving you warnings that its drive is almost full. Or maybe you notice that it's 90% full or more and you think it might be affecting performance. Or maybe you just want to tidy things up a bit. There are several likely suspects of places on your Mac where you can easily clean things off and free up space. Now a lot of people will tell you that you need to buy and install a special app or something to clean up your Mac. You don't. You don't need anything to be able to clean up your Mac. You just need to know where to look. But a lot of times people will show you things that you can clean up that really don't save you that much space or will immediately fill up again. So there's a lot of bad advice out there. Now let's start by looking at iTunes. iTunes of course is used to store music, movies, and other things. But it's also used to back up your iOS devices. And there could be some old backups in there you don't need anymore that take up a considerable amount of space. Go to iTunes Preferences and then click on Devices. Now you find a lot of people advising you to look for these things but they don't tell you to look here. And this is where you should be looking because this is the proper place to delete them. So here I actually see in this test user account I'm using a whole bunch of old backups. You can see these are from 2016. They're definitely old and I definitely don't need them anymore. These aren't even my current devices. So if I select here if I want to see how big it is I can control click on it and it will say Show in Finder. And this will bring up the Finder window that shows me where these are. And you can see in the folder here called Backup there are three folders corresponding to these three backups. And I can select one and do Command I and it will calculate the size for me. And I can see this one's small, 8.2 megs. This one is almost 27 gigs. So I can easily delete these by selecting one here and hitting Delete Backup. And that will clear off all that space. It's very common to find old devices listed here and you can clear it out. Now if you find your current device there and you find out that's big as well there's something you could do. You could actually reduce the amount of storage on your iPhone or iPad and that will help your Mac. For instance if in an app say in Netflix you have a whole bunch of downloaded movies or in Audible you have 30 downloaded books. If you clear that data out it will reduce the size of your backup. So then you can do another backup to your Mac and find out the sizes of these go down. So the less stuff you store as app data on your iOS device the smaller your backup will be to your Mac. Now before we leave iTunes let's look at another place. We can look here at Movies and we can see what movies we've got. And we can clear those off. A lot of times people have movies here that they've already watched. They don't need them anymore. And you can simply Control click on it and say Delete from Library. If you have purchased movies here then you'll see a cloud icon meaning that the movie isn't currently on your drive but you can stream it or download it anytime you want. You can Control click on it and then choose to remove it from your drive saving all that space but you could always stream it or download it again. And then also remember to do the same for TV shows. Another place you may have things you don't need anymore is in your Downloads folder. You can find your Downloads folder lots of places like a lot of times in the dock. Uh, you can also find it in your Finder sidebar. But you could always open up a new Finder window and do Go Downloads to go to that folder. A lot of times people leave things here and it takes up a lot of space. For instance you may download an installer for an app, install the app, uninstall the app but the installer is still there in your Downloads folder. Another place where files accumulate is the trash. People sometimes throw files into the trash but never actually empty the trash. You can open up your trash folder there from the dock. You can hit Empty. Also in the Finder you can use Empty Trash. And in Finder Preferences if you want under Advanced there's an option to remove items from the trash after 30 days. So it will prevent things from accumulating there. As you would expect a place for large files is your Applications folder. So in a new Finder window you can go to the Applications folder many different ways. And then you can go to List View. Click on Size to sort by size and then you want to go to View, Show View Options or Command J and turn on Calculate All Sizes. So that will calculate all the sizes of everything in there, even folders. So now sorted by size you can see which applications take up the most space. You want to look here for applications you're no longer really using. For instance I have Xcode here takes up the most space. Maybe if I'm on a developer and I just download it out of curiosity I may now want to delete it. I never use PowerPoint for instance. Maybe I should get rid of that. If you want to delete something make sure you delete it the right way. Start by going to Launchpad, clicking on the apps so they jiggle and then using the X button to actually remove them. 
If you can't do it that way then look for an official uninstaller for the app from wherever you downloaded it from. So your Photos Library is another place that could be taking up a lot of space. Now one of the things people say is move your Photos Library to an external drive. And that's fine if you're on a desktop Mac. But a laptop Mac it really doesn't work unless you're going to bring that external drive with you everywhere you go. One thing I like to do to save space is not have my videos in the Photos Library. I like to store them separately. So you could put just your videos on an external drive just as files in the Finder. To see how much space your videos are taking up you can go to Media Types Go to Videos and then do Command I to get information. You'll see exactly how much space it's using. So in this case it's just a sample library and it's taking up a little over a gig. So if I decide I want to offload those I may want to drag and drop them into a folder in the Finder and then remove them from my Photos Library. This will not only save me space on my hard drive but it could also save me a lot of space in iCloud. And also when thinking about Photos you may want to go and check to see if you have an old photo library around. So in the Finder Go to the Pictures folder here and you may only see one thing in here which is your Photos Library. But you may also see an older photo library, even an iPhoto library if you've had your Mac for a while. So you may want to archive that, get that off your drive and then save all that space. Now back in the Photos app one way you can save space without doing much work is go to Photos Preferences and assuming you're using iCloud Photo Library already if you turn on Optimize Mac Storage what will happen is all your photos will be in iCloud. but not all of them will be on your Mac. Only thumbnails and they'll download automatically when you need to see those photos. Now turning that on won't quickly save you space. You won't see a difference right away. But slowly over time, over days and weeks, things will be optimized and your photo library will take up less space on your hard drive even though everything you've got is still in iCloud. And the same thing goes for if you're using iCloud Drive. If you go into iCloud and System Preferences and you go to iCloud Drive Options you'll see Optimize Mac Storage there. And if you turn that on the same thing happens with your documents. Everything will be in iCloud but only the most recent files and the most commonly accessed files will be on your Mac. You won't see a change right away but over time space will be cleared up as things that you haven't used in a long time are just stored in iCloud and no longer on your hard drive until you need them. All right, so let's look in some more specific places that you could find some things. In the Finder choose Go and then hold the Option key down. That brings up the library here. It only appears if you have the Option key down. And I want you to look for iTunes and then look for iPhone Software Updates. Now I've got nothing in there but if you see some things in there you may have some old software updates that were downloaded to your Mac and then used to update your iPhone or iPad and they didn't go away for some reason. They're still hanging around and you can delete those. So look at iPhone and also you may see one there for iPad, a separate folder. Also under Library look for Application Support. So I'm going to switch to List View and I'm going to sort by size and do the same thing I did before with Show View Options and Turn on Calculate All Sizes. And now I'll see what's taking up a lot of space. And you may see Mobile Sync there. That's where those device backups were that we looked at in iTunes before. But you may see some other things as well. So you can look through these and in general you don't necessarily want to get rid of anything unless you know what it is. But you may spy some apps listed here that you no longer use. You've uninstalled the app and if you see that then you could feel free to get rid of it. Now if we go back up to the Library folder here we can look at Caches and we can see Caches also in List View, Sort by Size, and Turn on Calculate All Sizes to see which caches are big. Now this is where you'll get some bad advice. Because sometimes you'll be told, oh, you got to delete your browser cache or your cache for this app or cache for that app. But caches are there to speed things up. And if you use the app often, the cache is just going to fill back up. If it's going to take a gig of space, then you can clear it out now. But 15 minutes from now, after you use that app, it's going to be a gig of space again. So don't necessarily jump into doing things like clearing out your Safari cache at all. Instead, what you want to look for are apps that you no longer use. Because you may have deleted an app and then find that there are still some cache files here. For instance, here's an old version of the screen recording app I use and it's got 1.6 gigs of cache. It's never going to clear that out because I'm never going to run that old version again. I don't even have it installed. So I can feel free to clear that out. So what about if the problem is that you simply have some large files, some large documents, things that you created but you don't need them anymore. Well, a quick way to find out if you have any really large files that are hanging around is to go to your Home folder so you see everything that you've got, your documents, your desktop, things like that. Then you can do a search. I'm going to do Command 
F to search. I'm not going to use this box here. And I'm going to search by file size and is greater than and set it to 100 megabytes. So here I see a few iMovie libraries and things like that. But I may find some other big files here, some videos I've stored, things that I just don't need anymore. Now that's still no substitute for actually going to your documents or desktop folder, looking through all of your folders and finding what you've got. Because you may have some folders that have some small files in them but lots of them and you just don't need them anymore. So there really is no substitute. There's no app that's going to make this quicker for you for going through your documents, doing a spring cleaning every once in a while, getting rid of things that you don't need. You can archive them easily. Get yourself an external drive. Archive things off that you don't need anymore to clear off space. As a side benefit you can organize things a little bit better while you do it. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.